to us that there's a high percentage of francophone residents. So obviously you need more bilingual staff in those areas. But when you talk about areas like Charlotte County, uh, Central New Brunswick, St. John, the, the, the numbers just don't support this one size fits all that uh, government's pushing for. Okay, I have about a minute 20 to break, but I'm gonna bring Charles onto the show. Charles, you're now uh, here, you've got about 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna throw in a break, though. Uh, well, 30, so you expect me to say everything in 30 seconds? Well, I'll bring you back if you're too long. Oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna be bilingual, that, and I'm gonna that, say that in French at, at first, but je suis acadien, je suis bien fier d'être acadien. Puis Chris, uh, c'est un bon leader du, uh, the People Alliance, he's a good leader. Okay, am I am I all over now? Very close. <laughs> the bottom line is we must get along. I don't I think you better put me on hold. Okay. All right. Well, so, so Chris, when we come back, we do have a lineup of callers, and we will return to Charles. Uh, but when we come back, we do want to touch on more issues than just this, but several that do include language. So uh, if we're ready to throw a break, uh, we'll be right back on Voice of the Province uh, here with Chris Austin. to Rogers TV on Sunday. Follow up on our Indy road trip. Who knows, we might be in your town next on Home in 60 Seconds. Back on Voice of the Province. I'm Adam Heros, your host. I'm here with Chris Austin tonight. I'm going to go right back to Charles. Charles, let's hear the end of that question. Sorry, Adam. My my ADHD got a little bit hold of me. Um, no, no. I mean, uh, uh, Matthew Glenn, that used to be a former leader of the Anglo Society, will be turning or in it or to turn over in his grave. What I'm saying, I never thought I'd see the day that I would support. Uh, what's going on with the francophone issue here in this in this province? The issue of Wayne Grant it should have never, never, never happened. He come to me. He told me what happened. Je suis acadien. Je suis adéquat acadien. I broke the story. And the sad part about it is the mainstream media never did a follow up. Now. I'm sick and tired as an Acadian. You have the Francophone District, the Anglophone District, the Francophone School District, the Anglophone. They should change it to a name that's pretty, not Francophone, Anglophone. And to I think the problem we're having here, we're Acadians, we're proud Acadians, but we have people from Quebec coming here in New Brunswick and pushing the private agenda. And like the guy from Minto said, well, we used to get along. Yes, we used to get along because the Frenchmen had no rights. Now we have rights. You know, a lot of English people are saying, well, you know, what's going on here? And Michel Carrier, the former language commissioner, he had what you call a relation uh, <laughs> public. He had public relations skill, which this woman, Antrema, doesn't have. And in closing, all what's happening here, it wouldn't surprise me that Antrema is told by the government to do this, to get both culture very upset that the normal New Brunswickers is forgetting, is not paying attention to the nursing home being shut down and other issues. And I predict that when her term is up, she will be appointed to the Senate with great honor. You guys have a good night. Thanks, Charles. Well, there's no more Senate appointments, so uh, she'll have to apply. Uh, and then get picked that way. But uh, beyond that, uh, thoughts on what Charles yeah, said? Yeah, I mean, interesting comments. I've talked to Charles many times. Um, every, 
everybody knows him as the vlogger. And you know, to his credit, he he did. He he you know took the Wayne Grant story and, and ran with it on his blog. Uh, it's actually from that blog that we started doing our own investigation as a party and found that indeed there was a lot of merit to it. And uh, and that's why we proceeded with with talking to Mr. Grant and, and going from there. But um, I, I think you know Charles basically uh, encapsulates I think what a lot of Acadians are feeling too. Um, you know, again, we're, we're all New Brunswickers at the end of the day, and, you know, before official bilingualism came into, the, to, into New Brunswick, Charles is right, there, there was an injustice for the Acadian people, you know, um, they, they couldn't receive any service in, in their language, it's, it's like they were second-class citizens. So, somewhere between that and what we have today is, is, is a middle ground, is, is some common sense, and that's what we're saying is, you know, let, let's, let's get back to the real meaning of what it means to be bilingual and, and how we can effectively make sure that, that people who need the service in, in a specific language, French or English, can receive it in, in, a, in a reasonable and timely manner. Um, but you don't do that by making everybody bilingual. I mean, whether it's paramedics that they've, they've tried to shove it down their throat, uh, uh, you know, or, or Wayne Grant commissioners. I mean, it's just going to keep going and going. And the, and the thing is, Adam, with, you know, we're getting calls now from people in the civil service that are afraid. They're, they're saying, look, I've been here for 20, 25 years. Uh, I'm not bilingual, and I'm worried that, that they're going to, you know, repost my position as bilingual and, and, and mess with my job and, and my pension. So there, there's, there's a lot of tension in this province on this issue, and it's, it's what really is frustrating is the MLAs have the power to do something about it, but they just simply refuse to. They just hold, they're hoping it goes away. I mean, they'll, again, they'll throw out some comments here and there, uh, but what I want to see is I want to see an MLA stand up in the legislature, put a motion on the floor to remove her from office. Now, that would show me that at least somebody's taken this serious, but to this day, we're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. I've got several calls queuing up. Uh, we're going to try to get through to everybody here. We've got Bob from St.